dead big with USA Today. So even if you haven't gotten a new iPhone, chances are your phone may look a little bit different if you've upgraded to iOS 8. That is the new version of Apple's mobile operating system for iPhones, iPads, iPod Touches. Now iOS 8 actually does bring a number of improvements, large and small. I'm just going to mention a few of them that I like or think uh, have a lot of promise. One of them are improvements to messages. You can now actually record your voice when sending a message. You just press your finger down against an icon, swipe up, off the message goes. And you can set it so that message expires in two minutes, or you can keep that message uh, there until the person at the other end chooses to delete it. Now, Apple, of course, in the iPhone has always had favorites, kind of the equivalent of speed dialing. But still, there's an even newer way to get to your contacts, your favorites, or the people you've recently communicated with. Uh, what you do is you actually double tap the home button, and that brings up the multitasking view. And on top of that view, you'll see little small circles that have pictures of the people who are in your favorites or, again, the people you've recently communicated with. It's a shortcut to calling them back or sending them a message. Now, also new to iOS 8 is something Apple calls uh, family planning. This is a way to share the family calendar, share uh, some of the music or books you buy through iCloud. It's also a way to monitor what the kids who share this account buy. Uh, you can set it up so they must ask you before you approve a purchase that they want to make in iTunes. I expect parents to uh, potentially appreciate that feature. Now, another feature uh, that is coming uh, is called uh, what Apple calls continuity or, and the handoff, which is part of that. The idea is you've started something on your Mac or your iPod or your iPhone. You complete the task, whether it's preparing an email, making a call, whatever. You complete it on one of the other devices. So again, start on a Mac or iPad, for example, complete it on the iPhone or vice versa. And I'll also mention one more feature, which is a newly improved Apple keyboard for the, uh, for the iPhone. Now, uh, for the first time, Apple is letting you add third-party keyboards to, uh, to your iPhone, but they've also improved the keyboard that is sort of baked into the phone. It now has improved suggestions for anticipating the words you may type. You'll actually see them right above the, the row of keys. You'll actually see word or phrase suggestions. Makes it much easier to type more accurately and faster. And yes, we've seen this sort of thing before on various Android keyboards. It's still a welcome addition to the iPhone through iOS 8. And there's a lot of features here worth exploring. So I would recommend just poking around, checking out the features that have now been added to your old iPhone or that are on your new iPhone. For USA Today, I'm Ed Baig, and I will catch you next time.